Hey, what's good, family? Um, yeah, if you use Logic and you have an iPhone, then I'd like to suggest that your head is so far up the ass of Apple computer. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm actually a, a, a Mac fanboy. I use Mac products. Uh, I've been using them since the, the 90s. Um, I actually prefer the term aficionado. Um, anyway, I, I digress. Um, I'm here to talk about the uh, the Logic Remote app um, available. It's a free download for your iPhone or iPad. Uh, I wanted to show you on the iPad as well, but um, my six-year-old thought it was a good idea to take a bath uh, with mine, my iPad. Uh, it got wet. Um, <clears throat> I had to rough her up a little bit. Uh, yeah, don't worry. Um, the doctor said she's going to be okay in about two weeks. Um, but anyway, yeah, so... If you have an iPhone and, and you use Logic, I, I highly recommend that you download this this app. It, it has uh, slowly, uh, you know, gone from uh, the, the novelty phase to a, to a really uh, important part of my workflow. Um, it's it's a really nifty tool um, for a couple of reasons, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into a few of them. Um, like, if you ever read any articles, if you ever like heard some of these big time mix engineers speak about their their work process, you'll often hear them say that. Uh, they like to get out from in front of the speakers and maybe walk around the studio, maybe even walk out into the lobby to hear their mix from a different perspective, um, which I think is a great idea. And I, I often do that myself. Um, and it's an awesome, awesome thing to have this little app in your pocket so I can walk away from the speakers and walk around, go to a different part of the room or a different part of the studio, a different part of the house, wherever I'm working. And just hear what it sounds like. And if I need to make an adjustment, you know, if I need to make a level adjustment or perhaps adjust a sin level, a reverb, a delay, or what have you, um, it's it's an, it's, uh, an awesome thing to be able to do um, from a different location. Um, so this thing has a lot of functionality. Um, <clears throat> obviously, the transport controls. And as you've seen, um, the level control, you can actually... Write automation. All, all, all parts of automation. You can do a write, a latch, touch, read. You can mute. You can solo. Um, you can <clears throat> reset all mutes. You can uh, recall all solos. Um, it's it's a very, very cool thing. You can turn the metronome on and off. You can switch tracks. You can use your locator. Turn your loop on and off. I think I mentioned that. Um, now, if this had only come with this one screen, I, I would have been thrilled, and uh, this would have been an awesome thing. But um, the very cool thing about it, you just give it a little 90-degree turn, and voila, these other little uh, options are available. Um, I like this screen a lot because it has the uh, transfer controls and these large buttons down here on the bottom. And I think uh, all these function keys are, are, are kind of what was included. And they're like, you can save um, new tracks, undo, which is a very useful thing to have. Um, and also, you can um, scroll over to the next page. And I think this was blank when it started, but I've, I've, I've added my own little um, um, quick keys. Um, so you can customize it to however you like to work. So the things that I use a lot, like I want to show my mix window. As you can see, I can pop that up and down. Um, show the inspector. I always kind of just leave that open. Um, show the toolbar, what have you. And also, I put it undo on this page because uh, I like to I like to have this page open when I'm recording. Um, <clears throat> I'll just uh, record if I like it. Uh, I can keep it. I can save it, or I can just undo it, go back, and do it, and, and start over again. Um, very cool thing. And I think I don't know how many commands you can add, but um, there's a uh, there, there's plenty of blank pages, so there's plenty of space to add your own and your own quick commands and customize them. Um, to be honest, uh, I've been a Pro Tools user for years and years. Uh, very familiar with that system, know the commands like the back of my hand, but uh, I'm kind of really starting to just get into logic. So the, the quick keys are not, you know, always at the tip of my brain. So uh, having this little functionality here has been a great uh, time saver and a great asset to my to my workflow. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, that, that's basically it. Um, 
I guess my whole point is I highly recommend this, this little app. If, uh, if you have an iPhone and you're a Logic user, uh, I promise you, you will thoroughly enjoy this and it will be a great asset to your workflow. Um, that's it for now. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I will talk to you soon. Uh, and if you don't know, now you know.